Hello everyone, we are back again with another brand new video on this channel and in this video we are going to discuss the problem simple file system which was given as POD on 18 Jan. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Alright, so let's just quickly take a look at the problem statement and then let's get started. So we have a file system is a collection of files arranged in a particular order for easier access, search, editing, etc. The simple file system SFS has one root mount which is denoted using slash forward slash. Each file is a descendant of forward slash. A directory is a special kind of file that can have other files organized within it. Within it. SFS also allows a user to move files from one location to another throughout the file system. SFS only allows a user to move files to a different directory only when there is no naming conflict. For example, consider this tree. Alright, so we are given this tree structure of the file system. Uh, we can move file we can move files throughout any of the directories, but only if there is no naming conflict. So it, what it means that we can move file from a dot t, uh, from home user uh, with name a.txt to libcpp because there is no file named a.txt, but we cannot do the same with opt java. And we are given queries of the form. This is the source, this is the destination, and this is the file name. We have to answer yes or no based on the fact that they can move or not. So um a nice problem this actually came to my mind while you know I, I was actually moving some files and this just came into my mind wow this is a ap practical application so uh, in the next section let's see the algorithm to solve this problem so let's consider an example and then we'll dive into the algorithm so let's see we have to move the file slash home this is the source slash home slash user and we are moving it to slash opt slash java and the name of the file is a.txt so the first thing is the inputs which we are give which are given to us are of the form we have as in terms of inputs we are only given these ids right 1 2 3 4 5 10 15 right and we have to basically find a way one second yeah we have to basically find a way to map these uh, path names with these IDs given to us. So the thing is, we need to find out what's the ID of this uh, destination Java. And then inside this, we need to find out what are all the children of it. And for those children, what is the name of each and every child? And then we can check if that name matches a.txt anyway, right? So first part is to be able to split this. So we split slash home slash user. Right, and we split with slash, split with slash, slash, and we get the output and take the last element and we will get the output as user. Right, and now we check what's the ID for user given to me. The ID given to me was 6. So the ID is 6. Right, and that's how we'll do it for in the same way for destination. So in the destination, we have slash opt slash java and we do a split operation after which we get java and what is the id of java the id of java is 7 right so we get java and the id of java is 7 what are all the children of 7 now they're 11 and 12 what's the name of 11 and 12 for the 11 we have name as a.txt this information we already have for 12 we have name b.txt What's the name of the file that we are moving? It's a.txt, right? Sorry if this is getting cut a little bit. Yep. For 12, we have b.txt, right? So we check that out of these two, one of the file name is same as a.txt. So we then say that no in this case, right? Let's consider another case. In that, let's move uh, again, let's move slash home slash user and then from to destination slash lib slash cpp and the name of the file would be a.txt let's move a.txt from home user to lib cpp right so now uh, again at the destination we check what's the id of this so we'll, we split this so slash lib slash cpp split and the last value is cpp and the id of cpp is 8 what are all the children for 8 13 and 14 13 and 14 what's the name of 13 d.txt is it similar to a.txt 
not not equal to a dot txt 14 the name of 14 is e dot txt it's not equal to a dot txt both of them are no so we say uh, that the file a dot txt does not exist in this directory and yes we can move it so the output is yes so this is the basic idea to solve this problem in the next section let's check the implementation for solving this problem all right so now let's take a look at the implementation of the problem using python so for starters i'm going to start with the tree which is nothing but an adjacency list or basically in simple terms a list of list every node is a list and that particular node stores references to all the elements that are connected to it right so you're going to see that while we implement and also i have discussed this extensively in my video on linkedin connections you're more than welcome to watch it so uh, we have n which is int input we have m int input now for all the values of m n number of nodes i'm going to initialize all the nodes as tree dot pen init as an empty list and for n plus 1 because indexing starts from 0 in the tree right uh now for i in range m let's take the input so x comma y is map int comma input dot split so the input is uh now we're going to do tree of x dot append append y and x tree of x dot append tree of y dot append x and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this file names list which is list map str comma put dot split all right this is done now we're going to take queries and input for i in range q we have a source comma destination destination comma file which is why is it highlighting file as if i've done a mistake ah okay here because file is equal to ma uh, map str comma input dot split oops now we have source comma destination comma file and just let's quickly print source and check if input is being processed till here or not right so let's go in one so like right we are able to read all this input that are given in the sample test case <coughs> okay so now uh there are things we need to do first we need to find out the destination the actual destination where we are moving it like the path given to us in this problem slash opt java we actually are actually are concerned with this right and then we are not storing this as names we are storing these as ids right so we need to find out the id for this like in this case java and then with this id let's say suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, the id of java is 7 now 7 has two children i can see 11 and 12 right so then we need to check if these names of these children with id 11 and 12 is similar to a.txt if they are a.txt then we say no otherwise we say yes so that's the thing logic that we are going to implement so we have source we have destination we have file so let's check now if destin now let's say what's the actual destination right so actual destination is initially null now if basically null in python null in python if destination equals slash then we say actual destination is also equal to slash because otherwise i'll tell you why we had otherwise uh, destination equals uh, sorry actual destination equals destination dot split slash and the last value which is minus 1 now for slash if you split it we'll get two blank strings in the list that's all we get so uh, that's why we cannot split slash with slash so it doesn't work so now let's continue so we have actual destination let's just print actual destination and see what we got here so we have uh, home java local now let's get the ids for these right so now file id initialized to none then for i in range len of file names right i'm going to get the id of this so in this list the file names list that i have which i get from here i'm going to find the id of 
uh, the given destination. So in Java, it should be seven, but according to zero indexing, it will be six. So we'll return plus one. So if file underscore names of i equals our actual destination, then we say file id is equal to i plus one, and we break out of this loop. Okay. So let's print file id and let's see what we get we get 279 so for home the 1 2 for uh, java it's 7 and for local it's 7 8 9 so we have it correct till here now let's check in this children so for child in tree of file id file id now we have child so let's get the name of this child now right so if and the name of child would store file names of child minus one because in this list in file names we have indexing with zero right and we have in the graph we have indexing starting from one so file underscore names child minus one equals to the file that we are moving which is stored in the variable file then we say no right otherwise we say uh, not here right because we say no and break otherwise we'll if we if the loop continues we'll print yes after the loop ends without any issues right so that's it now let's quickly test it yes no yes i and two i and three and i and four well, let's just cat out one the expected output yes no yes for two we have yes no yes 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 that's there for output 3 we have all yes and yes for output 4 we have four no's and one yes so we have this right so this is the algorithm for this problem well that was the solution for the problem simple file system i hope you enjoyed it if you have any more questions feel free to list them down in the comment section if you guys enjoyed watching this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you see a red subscribe button down below make sure that you punch it so badly that all the red color goes away and you have subscribed to my channel so i hope you guys enjoyed it with that i'll see you in the next video until then take care bye bye